Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from The Brain Report with another edition of Perception vs. Reality for Friday, June 11th. Hope you're having yourself a good start to your day. As always, don't forget, subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right hand corner or hit the subscribe button below this video if you're watching on a mobile device. Alright guys, what we do in this segment is we take a look at, um, put ourselves in the shoes of the bookmaker and see how the market psychology of tonight's game between Philadelphia and Atlanta uh, will do against the reality of the numbers. And uh, what we're going to take a look at is let's go to game number one and two. In fact, if we go back to game number one, Philadelphia lost that game by four points. They were a four and a half point home court favorite and they lost uh, 128 to 124. And the total in that game was 220 and a half. Now, going into the second game, knowing that Philadelphia lost game number one by four points, what do you think the bookmaker did? He, instead of bringing the number down, he brought it up knowing that he would get more action of people betting on Atlanta saying, you know what, Atlanta won on game number one. So the perception was that since they beat him in game one, it'll probably be a, a tighter game in two. So, you know, let's put that number to six and try to get as many people taking Atlanta plus six, right? Of course they would. And sure enough, people bit and look at the final score, 118 and 102. And uh, the perception was that people would have taken Atlanta, which I'm sure they did. And the total in that game was 225. So let's go to game number three. And now the perception is Philly won the last game by um, 16 points. So they're coming into this game as a one and a half point favorite. The overrunners at 224. And the first game, there was 220 and a half and then 225. So now we're right there at the same ballpark as game number two at uh, 224. So let's take a look at Philadelphia on the road this season against teams like the Atlanta Hawks, teams that, um, like Miami, San Antonio, Dallas. Every time Philadelphia was on the road and they were facing those type teams, if they were a favorite, they were a favorite by 3.95 points. So about a difference of three this evening, right? And the total in those games, 218.5 compared to 224 this evening. And the reality is, the average score was 106 to 109. So when you put that together, that's 214, right? So it does uh, match it under the total. And the under was 5 and 7. Now, let's take a look at the Atlanta Hawks um, at home against eight type teams. So teams that are 60% or higher in the standings. They were 4 and 4 straight up and against the number. But look at this, 1 and 7 to the under. Now, the average price for the Atlanta Hawks against those eight type teams. So the Phoenix, Milwaukee, Utah, Lakers, Clippers. And uh, you can see the average line was four and a half and they're getting plus one and a half. So they're undervalued tonight. You know, they're undervalued when you compare it to that number. So um, and the average score of those games was 107 to 104 favoring Atlanta. So if you take those averages and you look at the total 225.19. So it's right there at 224. So the perception does meet the reality there. But this year you can't ignore one and seven to the under so anyways this video here guys it's all about perception versus reality it's not a pick segment it's not you know i'm giving you a pick i just want to bring to your attention don't get sucked in to the perception and the market psychology of the bookmaker to the reality of the numbers hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit that like button and uh, subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right hand corner enjoy the game cheers